Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. One of my personal favourite series, Proto GT, is at Daytona this week. Now this series is comprised of GT2 cars, GT1 cars and the HPD which is like an open top LMP2. If you know this series and you know these cars, you know how awesome it is. And with it currently being at Daytona, it's getting some pretty good participation this week. So I thought, let's go ahead in one of my favorite cars of all time, Aston Martin DBR9, and see what we can do. I'm not gonna qualify, I am just gonna start from the back if I can and see what's possible. All right, so here we are on track. I didn't qualify. Uh, there's 11 of us in the class, which is not too bad for this series, to be honest. Right, I'm gonna drag the brakes a little, warm them up, because it's a heavy braking zone into turn one. All right, get ready. Green lights at any moment now. Okay, Aaron, nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Go, go, go. Had to back off a little there. We're going to stick around the outside, though. And then coast into the braking zone because I'm not trying to commit any murders. On your left. Take it all the way around the outside. On your line. Clear left. That's an incident in International Horseshoe. Yellow flag. Caution. Left side. Still there. We've got a Corvette on our left, but we've got a good run here. I'm hoping you. Yep, you gave us the space. That's nice of him. Turn four. Turn six. Oh, that's a really compromised our exit. That's not ideal. He backed off. I really appreciate that. He did not have to do that. Oh no! Left side. Clear left. Lock up. Oh, not good. Not good. Slow down. Clear left. left side. Clear left. Just got on the brakes slightly too hard there. Clear left. Now we'll work our way back up again. It's only lap one. Things can change. Lifting off really early because I'm not sure what these guys are all doing. Dude, you're gonna kill us if you keep jumping lanes like that. Alright. Wait, no! Three wide, you're on the left, clear right. That was not my fault. Looks like you have five. I used the most inside as I could. Still there. I haven't got a button to apologize to that guy. Still there, clear left. Damn it. I mean, it's not really on us, but still. You've got to apologise when you kill your fellow... fellow Aston Martin. I hope he gets it going again. That was an unfortunate 4X, though, for sure. Right. Let's not lock up this time. Oh, you're so slow! On your left. He's backing off, I think. Clear left. Yep. He didn't have to do that, but... I'll take it, I suppose. I'm gonna let this HPD ground our outside. They should be clear before the braking zone. Yep, there we go. Nice coasting. Point it to the outside and then wrap it back in. Could have been better for sure. 
We're going to close on this pack now. I want a podium. Oh. Yeah, thanks for the safe rejoin, mate. That's my first to talk. Hey, sorry to the Aston that I took out at turn one. I, uh, I used as much inside space as I could. into the bus stop. Could have carried more speed there, but that was overall pretty good. Now we've got the three podium cars right ahead of us. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm close enough to get their draft, so I'm just going to have to have sheer pace. Definitely closing on them in the braking zones is the main thing to do. Already, that's four temps I just gained there. Yellow flag. Turn in. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Sorry again, mate. Another forex. I thought I avoided him. Thankfully, I think the car's fine. We're just getting really unlucky of contacts today. I misjudged how wide the car was. Well, unfortunately... <laughs> For uh, the previous car, we are now in P3. And he is not after a very miserable looking spin. And then me adding the uh, carry on top by driving into him. Thankfully, I don't reckon either of us have got much damage. It was just a, a, a little shitty bit of contact. Possibly even net code. Corvette's taking the outside line here. He's going to do it. Aston's trying to defend the inside, but the Corvette gets past. Okay, Aaron. The next car is Bryce. Car number six. Good racing. Very bright yellow Corvette. I love the yellow on the Corvettes. Looks so good. It is just the Corvette colour. The same that British Racing Green is the Aston colour. And you can't tell me I'm wrong about that. Unless there's some sort of better colour. Now we're going to be in the toe, which is brilliant. Ah, he wants me to... I think he wants me to push him, or he wants to push the Corvette. I mean, considering I'm four temps off him still, I don't know how I'm going to push him. But he may try to push the Corvette. I don't know what he'd be achieving in that case, though. Most likely, he's just going to send him into the Shadow Realm at T1. I think he's doing it. I am flying up to these guys. I'm going to lift off really early. This Aston is braking stupid early a lot of the time. 
Corvette run, runs wide. I am on your left side, bud. Yeah, okay. Thanks for giving me space. Not. Why is he flashing his lights? <laughs> I think he overshot turn one on the brakes because of the Aston pushing him. No! Oh my lord. These guys love to spin. Right, now we need to pressure this Aston because I cannot let him get away. Again, that's another position basically just handed to us. It's unfortunate, I'm not really having to work too hard to gain these. But at least the car's good fun. Breaks so early. I can see that he's more confident on throttle when he comes out of the uh, final infield turn. I'm quite hesitant because I don't want to spin up the rears. But in the tow, we are flying. I'm going to back right off because I know he's prone to overslowing. I'm not trying to drive into the back of him. Although I have compromised my bus stop there. Look at us, we're flying. He's lacking so much top end. Left side. Still there. Clear left. Mm. I gave him lots of breathing room there because I wasn't sure how much space I had. But he will now know for sure that I've got him on top end. And I've got him in a lot of the braking zones. too wide into the engine to the bus stop. Good defense from him. Again, look at the top end I've got. This isn't even just the toe. This is straight up. I'm running higher gearing or something. 
Oh, again, I'm giving him so much space because I don't want to have contact. I need to get onto the inside of him and force a move. Base him. I need to basically force him into conceding the space to me. So we've got the pace, but this guy understands that and he's driving in a defensive way, which is allow him to counter it. As I get a little loose on the brakes there. As long as we stay within a few temps of him, we are always going to catch him in the toe. Oh no! Really poor exit. I'm absolutely flying. I'm going to plant myself in the middle of the road here. I'm not giving you as much space as you want. And dive to the outside for the braking. He's going to try the inside. Oh, he's made it stick. This is where I'd love triple monitors so I could actually have some spatial awareness. Right side. Clear right. This is brilliant racing. The odds are completely stacked against him and he's using that to his advantage excellently. He's just defending his heart out. Braked a little early there by accident, got my marker wrong. Right, we really need a good exit from the bus stop. Because if we can clear him enough coming towards turn one, then we can take command of the inside line and then from then on we should be able to stay ahead. Oh, but well, I'm not going to be able to get a good exit because I've got to slow down so much. Okay, we're pretty close to his bumper here. And sit in the inside. Oh my god, he's making it stick still. <laughs> I don't quite have the confidence to send some ridiculous move out of nowhere. Because with this sequential box and the blipping to downshift. It's, uh, it's difficult to manage hard racing whilst making sure you're in control of the car. Obviously, I could just use fluffy paddles and auto blipping, but where's the fun in that? As I say that, I attempted to use the paddles. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it downshifting? Because, dumbass, you tried using flappy paddles. Oh, 
Oh no! On your left. Clear left. Again, I just couldn't get it slowed properly, sent it too hard. This is becoming painful. I just need to send it down the inside of this guy. But he's basically commanding the track. He is in control of everything. We've got 10 minutes left. 10 minutes to make this move happen. I took the off track, but the exit was quick, so maybe we can do something here. I'm just fed up of being on his outside. Because he's in control. I'm so scared of cutting him off and causing a collision. Ah! Slight love tap with the wall there. This car will probably be okay from that. No. I thought I could try something there, but... Didn't have the... The nose close enough to him to send it. Come on, we're so much faster. Oh my jeez. Oh, the car just got light on the brakes. I can't do this. I need to get down his inside. This is awful. Awful exit. And now we've got the LMP2s coming up behind. I'm hoping they can give me some sort of opportunity here. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
contact is not what I want at this moment. Holy moly. Well, it's the first time I ever got a chance to actually go down the inside. Oh. Oh, come on. Running out of time here. I need to make something happen. Oh, this LMP2 is going to make my life difficult, though. Oh, and now I'm forced down the inside. Oh, come on. Another off track. <laughs> Thank God we've got 4.9 safety rating. Because we're definitely going to be losing some of it. Get an apology, please. Right now, I can't even get an off track, otherwise, I'll be DQ'd. Oh. See, I tried it. I don't know if that's on me or on him, but still, he drove through my car. So, I'm wanting an apology for that one. He's lost it. He's binned it. Looks like rice. He's binned it. No, I just need to stay ahead. Get out of the way, Corvette. Right side. Thank you. Right. I'm not sure if he's flashing me or the Corvette. Probably the Corvette. But now I'm not in the toe, so this is his chance to... Put some pace on me. Right side, clear right. Right, we should be looking at only one more lap now. And we finally got up to the GT2 car. This poor little Ford GT, what? Just it's just a GT, isn't it? Come on, Aaron. All right. Clear right. You're leading. We're running on fumes, mate. White flag. Just gotta keep the pace, keep the car clean, stay ahead. We really are in the danger zone now. <laughs> We're leading the race by a few temps. But literally one off track could ruin it all. So let's just keep this clean if we can. Five times down entering the uh, 
the oval. Hopefully, he's going to have a lot of toe here, but hopefully it's not quite enough. Send it. I will defend the inside. Make sure I get a good exit. Now he's going to really be in the toe. But all we have to do is cross that finish line, flat out. Can we hold it? I just need to hold this inside line. Come on. He's out ahead, but we're on the inside. It's a drag race. He's going to get it. He got it. No way. No way. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Oh. Ooh. Oh. That was such a close race. And there he goes. He put in his fastest lap of the race. Final lap. Oh, damn it. With a faster exit out of the uh, bus stop, we could have had a chance there. I sort of compromised myself by staying on the inside, even though he was so far back. Look at the toe. <laughs> Oh, what a race. That was actually brilliant. I'm gutted we couldn't get the win.